it's Eva. So one of the phases that I really go through a lot is wanting to just change up my hair totally because I'm so bored of it. So that means either chopping it off or like dyeing it some really crazy funky colors or multiple colors. Like I just get so bored of it and I just want to change it all the time. Now the problem with me doing all of those crazy things is that I can't commit to it because what if I regret it? Because of this, I've thought of three ways to change up my hairstyle that I kind of go through in the routine whenever I get really bored. The first way of changing up my hair is to change my hairline. Now this may sound like a very subtle change, but trust me, if you change your hairline by one centimeter, it makes a huge difference. I mean, you can part it down the middle, you can part it down the side, have a deep part for a more edgier look. There's so many possibilities, so I kind of tend to do that. Sometimes if I feel like, oh, I want to be adventurous, I'll part it down the middle, but that doesn't happen too often. Usually I stick with my right part, but sometimes I'm going to even switch to the left part. I mean, like, we've probably switched back and forth before, once, once in our lives at least. The second way is to get hair extensions. If you can't commit to a color to dye your hair, you really don't want to damage it then go with something crazy. I mean, you could be normal and go with blonde or brown, but I don't know, This the pink color kind of gravitated me towards it. I really wanted something crazy and fun, and it's so easy to just clip in and then curl it to blend everything all together. Now, if you have short hair, you can always get longer extensions of the same color. That way you can experiment with different hairstyles, see how it is with long hair. Maybe you might want to grow it out after that, because you're like, hey, I kind of like long hair. Now the third tip that I have for you guys when you guys are so fed up with your hair you just want to chop it off because the ends just feel so damaged and gross and brittle and you're just like, this, this looks like hay. It's to really deeply nourish your hair. Take a day, just take a day out of your schedule to really pamper your hair. It makes a huge difference. My favorite way of really nourishing and making my hair feel really healthy and soft after is using a deep conditioning mask. Now the one that I really like is the Nexus Symmetra's Hydrating Treatment Deep Conditioner. And this smells amazing. Like I absolutely fell in love with it when I opened it. Like you guys have to smell this. I wish you guys could smell it through the screen. It's so good. <laughs> All you have to do is just apply it to damp hair and then just wash it out after a few minutes. After that, your hair feels so much softer. Now for some of you guys who can't take that time out of your day to actually sit down and do a hair mask, don't worry for you guys, I have something that helps and it's so quick to apply. You don't have to wait for a few minutes and then wash it out. And it really reduces frizz. So the item that I have to show you guys is the Trust Me Split Remedy Sealing Serum. I don't know about you guys, but I have a lot of these where I just want to sit on top of a garbage can, grab a pair of scissors, and just snip, snip, snip. But that is really time consuming. So as a result, you know, lazy people, serum. <laughs> Alright, so those are my three suggestions for changing up your hair style and avoiding chopping off all your hair or dyeing your hair to a crazy color that you're going to regret. Let me know down below if you guys have any other suggestions of changing up your hairstyle, as well as if you tried one of those, or if you even suffer through the same commitment issue as I do. Also, like this video if you did enjoy it, and also subscribe to see weekly videos on Mondays. So, I will see you guys next time. Bye!